को काट कर साथ ले गए अशोक फ्रॉम सीनियर समाजवादी पार्टी लीडर आजम खान एन इंसल्ट टू अ ब्रेव sadly he is not the only one there is no uh, lack of talent and being creative and innovative but if indian army chief says that this is an innovative way then i doubt his capacity and capability about uh, his uh, thinking but can they look the families of our braves in the eye can our leaders for once keep india first Mulayam Singh Yadav has been former defense minister. Akhilesh Yadav has studied in a scenic school. One would expect at least Samajwadi Party leaders to respect the army a little more. But they insult the army. Azam Khan, you've seen the way in they're insulting our men in uniform. We'll talk about that on the show because this is completely unacceptable in today's India. Also on the show, Indrani Mukherjee is she a victim? or is she playing the victim card she broke down while being taken to jj hospital for a medical check up today indrani has been booked for inciting riots in baikula jail she's made damning allegations in court today details coming up indrani indrani aapko kuch kehna hai indrani इंद्रानी आपको कुछ कहना है आपको कुछ कहना है क्या इंद्रानी इंद्रानी आपको कुछ कहना है आपको कुछ कहना है क्या इंद्रानी इंद्रानी आपको कुछ कहना है He insulted the army once by talking only about soldiers of a particular religion fighting and winning the war in Kargil. Samajwadi Party leader Azam Khan has done it again. He's insulted our men in uniform alleging that soldiers were raping women and that is why they were being mutilated. cornered by india today after his anti security forces rant azam khan ducked our questions he dodged a direct answer he blamed the media instead is this samajwad When Azam Khan spins stories to back terrorists instead of our brave soldiers who've sacrificed their lives at the line of control, or is this just a desperate attempt to seek headlines? ये कानून की वजह से है। हथियार बंद और तुमने फौज को मारा। और लाशों से जो जिसम का हिस्सा काट कर ले कर गए। वो हिंदुस्तान की एक असल जिंदगी का पर्दा उठाती है इंडिया टुडे कंफ्रंटेड आजम खान ही डक्ट डॉज एंड अल्टीमेटली डिनाइड ब्लेमिंग इट ऑन मीडिया मिस कोटिंग हिम साफ साफ मैं आपको कोट कर रही हूँ आपके शब्द हैं कश्मीर झारखंड आसाम में औरतों ने फौज को मारा है इसका क्या मतलब है नहीं उसमें उसमें देखिए मैं ये मैं नहीं कह रहा हूँ ये तो सारे आपके टेलीविजन चैनल्स ने कहा खुद आपके चैनल ने बताया डेमोक्रेसी इज अबाउट रेजिंग क्वेश्चन बट वेन दीज क्वेश्चन आजम खान सेंड द इंडियन आर्मी इज अ रेपिस्ट आर्मी इट हैज बिकम अ फैशन इन दिस कंट्री टू डिमीन द इंडियन आर्मी इन द नेम ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन इन द नेम ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी क्यों द इम्पैक्ट देर स्टेटमेंट हैव on sons and daughters and families of our braves the anguish of their families clearly doesn't touch their heart slogans after cricket matches get people in jails why should our politicians be exempt how long can they remain above the law 
विद कुमार अभिषेक एंड अंजना ओम कश्यप ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे This is shameful indeed. And India today caught up with Azam Khan. Our reporters began by asking him what was the basis of this comment. Let's listen into his response. देखिए मैं सबूत लाया हूँ. मैंने जो कुछ कहा है उसे मैं दिखा रहा हूँ. ये जागरण की खबर है और एक दूसरी मीडिया की खबर है. ये मैं दिखा रहा हूँ और वही शब्द मेरे हैं जो जागरण ने लिखे हैं. शहीदों के शव पड़े हैं प्राइवेट पार्ट्स काटे हुए हैं और इसे अमानवीय कहा है जागरण ने वही अमानवीय मैं कह रहा हूं मेरे कहने के मतलब को आपने और फाशिस्ट ताकतों ने अपने एतबार से बताया है अगर ये खबर गलत थी तो इसे सेंसर होना चाहिए था मेरी बात कहने दीजिए प्लीज मैं अपनी बात कह लूं सवाल बड़ा है इस खबर को नहीं दिखाना चाहिए था लेकिन इस खबर पर अखबारों ने भी और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया ने भी बहुत वाहवाही ली और बहुत टीआरपी बढ़ी मैं इसे अमानवीय इस एतबार से कह रहा हूं कि नक्सली महिलाओं ने जिनके बारे में यह खबर छपी और आपके टेलीविजन चैनलों पर सारा दिन दिखाई गई प्राइवेट पार्ट्स काटे गए इसलिए काटे गए कि इंसानियत की नस्ल खत्म हो जाए मैंने क्या गलत कहा ये अमान भी था कि इंसान खत्म हो जाए इंसानियत की नस्ल खत्म हो जाए ये क्या गलत कहा मैंने और क्योंकि कानून का राज देर से उठ रहा है खत्म हो रहा है अमान भी था हर तरफ है ट्रेन में सफर नहीं कर सकते दाढ़ी नहीं रख सकते कपड़े नहीं पहन सकते बुरका नहीं पहन सकते खाना नहीं खा सकते अपना नाम नहीं बता सकते इसलिए कह रहा हूं सैतालीस में जो संविधान पर बहस हुई बावन तक वो इसलिए हुई कि देश में बुलेट का राज नहीं बैलेट का राज चलेगा मैंने जो कहा है वही यहां लिखा है यहां भी वही लिखा है बट देर इज अटल चेंज इन वॉट आजम खान इज से नाउ एंड वॉट ही सेड अर्लियर अर्लियर ही सेड सर शर्म से झुक जाता है दिस इज वॉट ही सेड एंड नाउ ही से नाउ दैट इज कॉर्नर्ड ही से वो मानवता की नस्ल खत्म कर रहे हैं वॉट एपन टू हिज सर गोइंग डाउन इन शेम दैट ही इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ बिकॉज अगेन आर रिपोर्टर्स देन क्वेश्चन डिम अबाउट द आउटरेज हिज कॉमेंट सेट कॉज लेट्स लिसन इन आप आप कितनी ही बार कह लीजिए आप कितनी ही बार कह लीजिए हम यही कहेंगे कि हमने नहीं कहा और हमारी बात को इसलिए गलत तरीके से दिखाया जा रहा है कि हम फाशिस्ट ताकतों की आइटम गर्ल हैं हम बीजेपी के लिए नफरत का एजेंडा हैं हमें बदनाम करके भारतीय जनता पार्टी का फायदा है उन्हें वोट मिलता है हमें गाली देने से काम नहीं चलेगा हमें शर्म दिलाने से काम नहीं चलेगा सवालों को समझने की जरूरत है जो कुछ हो रहा है कानून के नाम पर जो नाकानूनियत है जो हालात हैं जिस कदर दलित और मुसलमान परेशान हैं और दुखी हैं आपको उन सवालों को हल करना चाहिए मैं जैसे कमजोर आदमी को गाली देकर क्या मिलेगा एंड दिस लेट टू अज कंट्रोवर्सी शुड आजम खान अपोलोजाइज और शुड एक्शन बी टेकन अगेंस्ट हिम लेट्स फाइंड आउट First it was Sandeep Dikshit of the Congress party then Mohammad Salim of the CPIM and now Azam Khan of the Samajwadi party is there a pattern to this and what's the reason i want to quickly bring into this conversation sunit chopra of the cpim lieutenant general bs jaswal former army commander northern command joins us on the broadcast also with us is advocate amit khemka because i want to understand the legal position on this but i want to start with you mr chopra is an apology in order should azam khan apologize for insulting our braves why should he not apologize if it is proved to be true i see no problem why is it's there a an country if country where we have why a law why is there an if it's a country where we have if there is an if because in today's conditions all kinds of things are happening 
you are having people killed by vigilantes and you can't find those people for days on end. I'm sorry, so, we will stick to I the mean, issue at hand, Mr. Chopra. What I would call Insulting our braves, it cannot be a Neta's pastime. And now we see a pattern to this. Jail Jaswal, is this insulting our braves, what Azam Khan said? Jail Jaswal. Absolutely. He doesn't understand what the army is doing for the country. His sleep is given by the army. The army is sacrificing itself on the borders and in the hinterland so that people like Everyone him can sleep in peace. And he does that. not realize as to what uh, the value of army is. No, Mr. Chopra, uh, I, I, you, there's a difference in that. These people who are bearing the highest of hardships mm -hmm. and sacrificing themselves way away from their homes. I think they have a special status not only in India but all over the world. Perhaps they enjoy in better America, status world over except in our country. In Mr. Chopra, one soldier, how casually, how casually Azam Khan insults our soldiers, how casually Mohammed Salim of your party can talk about you know the mental uh, uh, First, of, 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 the our, of our chief or how casually Sandeep Dikshit can talk about our army chief. Azam Khan denied he said anything like it. He's on camera. He's on camera. Azam Khan Mr. Mr. denied Kinka. Mr. that Kinka. he said anything like it. He's on camera. Azam Khan is on camera and now Sumit Chopra says Azam Khan denied what he said. See, see, let's understand. There can't be any denial as to whatever he said. Whatever he said is absolutely wrong, is absolutely insulting our army and our jawans who are sacrificing day and night. And legally speaking, Gaurav, it may not fit into sedition, but it is certainly defamation. And, but it is seditious, if not exactly legally speaking, it may fit into or it, we may not be able to prove sedition as such. Okay. You but, know, Mr. Chopra, but, what but, I want to understand is one would expect, one would expect Mulayam Singh right, Yadav, who's former... for defamation. No, Mulayam, Mulayam Singh Yadav is former defamation. defense minister. No, it's no, a let, legal country. He's saying, he's saying, go in for defamation. Yes. Let me make an advice to the people like, of his party and Mr. Ajam Khan. Okay. If they think that there is a human right violation in Kashmir, let them leave UP, go to Kashmir, there is a high court there, file petitions on behalf of such people who, or whose uh, uh, cause they are espousing and let them camp there, let them do something there. Why are they making these kind of uh, irresponsible statements? In, in the, the AC media? comforts of their homes in, in Delhi? The are Absolutely. Doing something go there. there. Let them sit there no, in the no, high court. No, no, no. Hang let on. Them file I have to reply there is a to law. you. There is a, I there is have a legal to reply system. to you. I'm sorry. There is a legal we system in this country. There. there are high courts. Nobody is we doubting the integrity of the high there court. Yes. There are, there are cases, there are the cases where are human and rights violations are taking place. But the, same. the courts are there are competent there enough to take care of that. We don't need other people. people. No, but why insult? So you don't have why to insult? Why insult our braves in the first place? Why? Why do our netas think they can get away with it? Nobody Jaswal. has insulted the braves, Af as far as I know. Let me ask the, the general. The general has insulted you know, the people uh, of India, saying that if they had guns, uh, yeah. I'd know how Mr. to teach Chopra, them. Mr. That is the wrong thing. General Jaswal. You can't tie an Indian Mr. Mr. Chopra, the question, question is to, is to me, please. please. Let me respond. These are please, not please, done. please. Let, let don't don't, don't practice intolerance please, towards our soldiers uh, at Chopra. least. I mean, for heaven's sake. Go on, General. I um, won't. Mr. Chopra, please. I, I don't. I'm, I have a lot of people in the army. So yeah, thank you. Matter. Thank you. I know. Mr. Chopra, please. At least have that much of decency. Please. The question is to me. Uh, there is just no doubt that people who have got... Uh, uh, loudmouths who are existing over here in our country at the drop of the hat they want to just embarrass the army and this man is known for his controversial statement so coming from him one is not surprised but let me tell you army is actually becoming immune to such like remarks 
because they are the stupidest remarks which are being made and yeah. so we we uh, i have become immune to these kind of remarks these insults are not insults to the army but it is insult onto themselves okay because these kind of remarks no one can stop okay no but they general they have no responsibility general, towards the nation you, are, you know they've got no responsibility what about what yes. about an 18 year old soldier who's facing hostile pakistan at the loc uh, hostile stone pelting armed terrorists uh, an ecosystem that protects all of that and you have netas who either for votes because i would i would sunit chopra want to understand from you is this for votes or is this for 5 minutes of fame that our netas want to insult the armed forces insult the men in uniform and think they are great uh, what is, is a, this for this it's not for, for either they want to keep it's their shops running the self but respect of the don't indian use people army for running it's the not shops either and let me I tell know. you the media we also MLA, is unwittingly helping very, them out that's a we very media arrest me uh, mr chopra please His hear media please don't sir, sir don't shoot the messenger no, no, the media media, media also unwittingly no, is helping these people out no sir there are so many other good people yes who uh, also you are talk about the good, about you army, are shooting the messenger i am not shooting you are shooting the messenger no, no but i am not made a very you. important point and i want to focus you. on the point but i want to I'm focus on saying, the point you have made i am only are mr chopra the point that mr khemka as a as a learned uh, uh, you know man of law as an officer of law is making is that dukan chalate hain netas netas run their shops by insulting the army and perhaps this is what azam khan or mohammed salim or perhaps even sandeep dikshit were trying to do wakil bhi dukan chalate hain usse zyada that is the whole problem I, 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 but the politicians the politicians hai. can high court blame anybody and mean, get away with it kind of that is the whole problem in this country then you will get that kind of reply. 70 years and you the parliament of this country has not made a law for the disqualification of mps and ml uh, mls the law so has I not been made okay the, gen the constitution says that the parliament will make a law for disqualification of mls and mps comment, that uh, law they don't okay. make general wants to come in general just wants to comment. come in but that's an important point you are making so should no, no. there be a law yeah. to take action against such motum out netas yes general jaswal go on sir Yeah, what you had said about that 18 year old kid. There is a law. Who's a young Defamation soldier? Defamation is sufficient. What, how will it affect his morale? Yes. Yes. A stage has come wherein may I please please listen to me. A stage has come when these these kind of remarks come in. You know what he would be saying? Pardon my language. Sala bakwas karta hai. Inki aadat hai bakwas karna. Because the army is being bombarded by all kinds of negative remarks. like someone was saying yes there are some very good people a majority of the people they hold the army in very high esteem which they rightly deserve but such like netas they were just just ignore if there is yes. a bakwas hai zala bakwas karta hai okay because that is the so stage which is bakwas. which is uh, come okay. to okay it's actually bakwas so, uh, so how do we stop this bakwas gorav suni chopra how do we stop this bakwas you know Gaurav, let, till let now me. there is no law disciplining the politician Okay. Stop we have a law. We Indian have a law people. for disciplining the advocates. Stop confusing. We have a law for Stone disciplining the doctors. We have a law for disciplining you everybody. In fact, Stone in army, in army, the discipline is so much. Are terrorists sleeping you for water guard duty? You can two. be sent for life imprisonment. Okay. The discipline no, no, in army no, no. is you, that you, much. You missed out. Hold on, Mr. Kemka. Uh, repeat what you said. Repeat what you said, Mr. Chopra. What did you just say, sir? What did you just say, sir? Please repeat. I stated that you must distinguish between stone th throwers and terrorists. You can't confuse everything, and you are confusing the people, and it's made the mess that there is. So, did stone throwers prompt Azam Khan stone to make such a obnoxious statement? Whether they're in Bengal, whether they're anywhere, did and stone throwers? Terrorists are terrorists. They are different people, and what okay. is they are different organizations. General, just want to respond to that, Mr. Kemka. Which, cate which category Azam Khan falls? Okay, let him let him tell. General, which general, category Azam Khan general, falls? General, stone pelters or terrorists? Respond to Mr. Chopra when he says the army has to learn to distinguish between stone pelters and and terrorists. <laughs> yes, uh, Mr. Chopra. Uh, the terrorists. The different. definition is definitely 
Just They're totally second. different. The definition, if you go through it, it creates a psychological... Please allow me to finish. He creates a psychological fear in the mind of the person no, by either I'm killing him or threatening him. Anyone who abets a terrorist, he is also uh, equally a terrorist because his actions are ensuring that the Jawans are dying. So he is also a terrorist. He, if he's abetting another terrorist in an action to escape, well, he's equally to be blamed as a terrorist. Because